Well, I think Greece finally, from a sailing perspective, has the tailwinds behind it. We have a government that's very pro-growth, is adopting pol policies that are leading to faster uh, GDP growth, uh, higher rates of employment, and that's going to be very beneficial to the Greek economy. The GDP growth has accelerated, and that's likely going to accelerate even more in 2020. Well, the outlook for Greek economy is very strong, and all Greeks should be very proud about the performance of the country this year. For instance, the stock market, the Greek stock market, the Athens Stock Exchange, is up over 40%, the highest of any country in the Eurozone. Borrowing costs, I don't know if you're going to believe this, for Greek 10-year debt is only 1.34%. That's below Italy and below the United States of America. And real, est real estate prices, after declining for 10 years since 2008, finally started to rise uh, early this year, and in the second quarter, were up almost 8% over the previous years. So now's a great time for Greeks to buy a home at any level, whether it's 100,000 or a million and to invest in the stock market. Well, the best investment for a Greek is, is to buy a home. Uh, home prices fell about 40% from the peak and have just risen a little bit off the bottom. If the Greek uh, recovery follows the U.S., uh, Greek house prices will have to rise another 55% in order to reach the levels they were at in 2008. Now, as the unemployment rate comes down and mortgage financing becomes more available, that's going to spur home prices. So now is a perfect time to get involved in buying a house if you already don't own one. The other area to invest is the stock market. Now, with the market's up 40% this year, people may feel it's too late. We've missed it. However, in order for the market to be up to its previous peak, would have to rise another 600%. So we are at the very early ages. It's not too late. And Greeks can invest. You can invest 10000 through a mutual fund, through a brokerage account, or you can invest more, 100000 or a million or whatever your investable funds are. But rather than keep your money in a savings bank and earn no money, why, not, why shouldn't everyone share in the prosperity that's coming through the purchase of stocks?